I'm gonna make a anode for a silver cell for a young man back in New Jersey. I cut the mold today and it's shaped pretty much kind of like an ingot except the bottom is going to be a pad thinner than the electrode so you can clip an alligator clip on it. Uh, this is a vertical pour style mold, two part flat back with just the screw chamber on it and then it'll use the graphite clamps to hold it together. I'm going to do this a little different though because he sent me the silver and for a silver cell anode you want to use uh, pure silver so he sent me some and what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt it in a melting dish with my torch and then the furnace is going to preheat the mold because I may have to do it in two pours and, and I want to keep the silver inside the, the mold liquid so it doesn't have a seam in it. So I'll get this set up to, to go and we'll uh, see what I get. These clamps are pretty easy to use. I mean, it, it doesn't take any force at all. Uh, You just kind of line them up at the bottom together. And then you just set it in with just the slightest down pressure. And then the top clamp is the same thing. That, that's all it takes. So I'll scoot this out of the way and get the lid off the furnace. The furnace is preheated. If I do this gingerly, it won't fall apart. I'll get that to warm it up. Kind of a cool day in Oregon today. Actually, the furnace feels pretty good. So I'm going to let that warm up. I'll get the torch out and we'll see what we get. Okay, I've got the mold in getting hot. I'm going to get out the torch and see what we get.
nice pour. Oh, wait a minute, I get my face shield in. That was a pretty nice pour. Uh, mold was kind of yellow at the bottom, but not totally heated at the top. But it looked like it might have poured full. I'm going to let that cool a bit. Uh, and just in case, uh, I'm reshooting this. This is the next day. With the loss of feeling in my hand and gloves on, I thought I turned the camera on during this part of the video, and I didn't. So I'm just redoing it. Well, I think it's cooled enough to take out. The amount of silver I got left over, I have a feeling I didn't get it full. Very warm. Well, I got a pretty full. I never wait long enough to take the mold out, the ingot out of the mold. Once they cool, they just fall out, but I'm always in a big ass hurry. So, anyway, this is a pure silver anode. It's got a pad on top for uh, hooking the alligator clip to, and, and, uh, Actually, I think I'll just leave the nub and the bob on the bottom of it. That's going to just make it that much bigger. So, anyway, one pure silver anode ready for a silver cell. Well, I had enough of this silver left over to pour a second one, so I did a second one. Uh, instead of melting the silver in the graphite crucible I just cut it into pieces and just kept dropping it into the top it had melt and flow in uh, it'd be nice to be able to make this in a gravity mold but it'd really be long so anyway that's how I made the two anodes for Tricky Ricky's silver cell he's building